let's talk about metabolic acidosis. So what I'm talking about here is acidosis, which is too much acid or not enough uh, basic agents in the blood and is due to metabolic causes as opposed to respiratory causes. So how do we know it's metabolic acidosis? I have another video that explains this in more detail, but we're just going to go through two examples here. So here we have pH, uh, the CO2, carbon dioxide, and we have bicarbonate. Okay. So the pH tells us the acidity of the blood or the alkalinity of the blood. CO2 tells us if it's a respiratory cause, and the bicarb tells us if it's a metabolic cause. So here we have an example. pH is 7.3, so that's over here on the acidic side. Carbon dioxide is 37, that's within normal ranges. And we have bicarbonate of 20, which is on the acidic side. First step is look at the pH. It's acidic, now what matches? What else is acidic? Bicarb is acidic. So that's telling us it is a metabolic acidosis. Another example, pH 7.29, still here on the acidic side. Carbon dioxide is 34, so this time it's alkalotic, but it doesn't match. We have acidic and alkalotic. And bicarb is 19, which is over here on the acidic side. So look at the pH. We know we have an acidity, and what matches? The bicarb. So this is where we see we have a metabolic acidosis, and what this respiratory alkalosis is telling us is the patient's not respiratory alkalosis. It's just saying that the respiratory rate is trying to compensate. All right, so what causes metabolic acidosis? It's easy. Either too much acid or not enough base. So what can cause too much acid in the blood? Lactic acidosis. If someone's uh, exercising too much, they produce lactic acid. Or if they're having a seizure, all their muscles are contracting and they're releasing lactic acid or someone is septic and they're not getting enough oxygen to their, to their tissues and their tissues are, don't have enough oxygen such as when you're working out it's producing lactic acid. Uh, diabetic ketoacidosis um, we'll talk about this in more detail but basically the body is uh, not pr producing energy like it should and produces a lot of uh, acids because it's digesting fats. Okay. Um, or chronic kidney disease in which this case it's holding on to the acids and it's not able to, the kidneys aren't able to filter those acidic products as waste in the urine. Okay, what can cause too little base? Um, so because the base and the acids counteract each other. Well, chronic kidney disease. The kidneys produce bicarbonate and if they're unable to do so, you don't have enough base. And this is similar with uh, liver failure and pancreatitis. Another option is losing the base, excreting too much. And a lot of base is found in the intestines, a lot of the bicarbonate. And so if you have diarrhea, you're uh, diarrheaing out all of your bicarbonate. And what's going to happen is you don't have enough. And you're going to have more acids than bases. Similarly, in ileostomy, which is where they're going to have, uh, instead of going from the small intestine to the larger intestine to exit the body, it's going straight from the small intestine into a bag out of the patient's body. The problem with this is, is you don't have time to reabsorb those bicarbonates, so you're losing a lot of bicarbonates in the ileostomy's uh, stool, and so that can cause too little base. So what are signs and symptoms? With all of the acid-base disorders, you're going to have dysrhythmias because the heart is, uh, needs a very particular electrolyte balance to, to function properly. Now, when we talked about alkalosis, I said there was numbness and tingling because there was hyperexcitability. Well, this is going to be opposite. You're going to be kind of depressed. And one, the way I look at this is high, uh, you have too much acid, which is H+. plus. Well, what's like H+, plus? you've got magnesium and calcium, which are also uh, serum electrolytes. And so what you'll see here is both of these are depressants. If you have too much depressants, you're going to have weakness leading to paralysis. Your heart's going to be uh, also weakened, leading to bradycardia. And it's going to have decreased cardiac output, leading to hypotension. You're still going to have... Uh, tachypnea though because the body is trying to breathe really fast and get the carbon dioxide out of its body because carbon dioxide is carbon diacid so you're going to be breathing quite heavily trying to get rid of that carbon diacid and they're going to have warm flush skin which is typical if uh, say for example someone's getting magnesium it causes the capillaries to, to flush so treatment is you identify the cause if the patient's having lots of diarrhea you want to give them antidiarrheals if they're in diabetic ketoacidosis you give them insulin and if they don't have enough base, you want to give them sodium bicarbonate. And so that's metabolic acidosis in a nutshell.